What if I told you that aging has nothing to do with time and that the real culprit is cellular damage? Oxidative stress, toxins, inflammation, and mitochondrial breakdown. These are what actually wear your body down. Many people age faster than they should, but it doesn't have to be this way. Here's the amazing part. Your body already has a built-in defense mechanism. It's called glutathione, and it might be the most powerful molecule in your body for slowing aging, protecting cells, and staying resilient in a toxic world. I'm Dr. Yvonne Burkhardt, a toxicologist with over 23 years of experience studying the effects of toxic chemicals. And I actually got my PhD studying glutathione and how it protects our reproductive system from cancer and infertility, but it does so much more than that. In this video, I'll show you exactly what it is, how it works, and some signs that your levels might be low and how to boost it naturally starting today. Let's dive in. What is glutathione? Glutathione is your body's master defender. It's basically a tripeptide that's made from three amino acids, glutamate, cysteine, and glycine. Unlike other vitamins or minerals, your cells make it on their own, specifically in the liver and kidney, which is critical for detoxification and survival. What's fascinating is the third place that has the most glutathione in the body are the ovaries and the testes. And this makes sense because our species would go extinct if we can't reproduce, right? So we have to protect those gonads. How do our cells make glutathione? Glutathione is synthesized in a two-step ATP dependent process. In the first step, glutamate and cysteine are converted to gamma glutamyl cysteine by the enzyme glutamate cysteine ligase or GCL. In the second step, glycine is added to the molecule by glutathione synthetase to form glutathione. So as you can see, it's very simple. It's just three amino acids. Keep in mind that ATP is made by the mitochondria, which is underperforming in many people. So if the mitochondria are damaged, then so is our capacity to detoxify chemicals and create more energy. This could be one reason for the rise in cancer and chronic diseases. So what makes glutathione so powerful? First, glutathione binds and detoxifies environmental chemicals and it neutralizes free radicals. Plus, it also recharges other antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E, giving them a second life so they can keep fighting damage. And so that's why glutathione is often called the master antioxidant. The problem is that your glutathione levels drop over time and it's not just because of aging. Stress, bad sleep, processed food, Smoking, alcohol, and environmental toxins accelerate glutathione depletion. And that's a big deal because glutathione isn't just a nice to have type of thing. It's foundational and critical for keeping your cells healthy, slowing down aging, and again, staying resilient in today's toxic world. Plus, glutathione depletion is linked with neurodegenerative disorders, pulmonary diseases, immune disorders, cardiovascular disease, and chronic geriatric conditions. Where is glutathione found in the body? everywhere. Glutathione exists in every single cell of your body, but the highest concentrations are the major detox organs, the liver and the kidney, followed by the ovary and the testes. So it just goes to show if you don't have enough glutathione, these systems are compromised. You'll also find elevated levels in the lungs and in the brain. These are organs that are especially vulnerable to oxidative stress and environmental insult. And that's not a coincidence. These are high demand systems. These are constantly processing pollutants, metabolic waste, toxins, and pharmaceutical residues. And glutathione is basically like an elite bodyguard that helps to maintain your cellular redox balance, which is oxidation and reduction, and protecting cells before the damage sets in, but that's only if you have enough. And again, most people may not. So when we talk about glutathione, it's not just a trendy wellness molecule. It is a core pillar of your body's defense system, operating behind the scenes, neutralizing threats before symptoms even show up. Glutathione protects your body in five key ways. Number one, cellular defense against oxidative stress. Every time you breathe, eat, move, or even think, your body is creating free radicals. In fact, just simply breathing oxygen, which we all need for survival, by the way, generates oxygen radicals in the electron transport chain within mitochondria. These are highly unstable and reactive molecules that are basically stealing electrons from healthy cells. They also damage your lipids, proteins, and even your DNA if they go unchecked. 
This process, which is known as oxidative stress, is a normal byproduct of cellular metabolism. But when it starts to build up and go unchecked, it accelerates aging, it speeds up and causes cellular breakdown and of course toxicity. Glutathione is your body's built-in cleanup crew and directly neutralizes these reactive oxygen species, also known as ROS, while also supporting other antioxidant systems. But it doesn't just clean up free radicals. It also targets upstream threats like heavy metals and persistent organic pollutants, such as PFAS chemicals. Without enough glutathione, your cells are literally losing the one of their most critical lines of defense. And of course, over time, that vulnerability starts to add up. Of course, the oxidative damage that's linked to aging and chronic disease will show up faster. Number two, detoxification is one of glutathione's most important roles, especially in the liver and kidney. So during phase two of detoxification, toxic chemicals are neutralized through a process called conjugation, where glutathione will actually bind to harmful chemicals, making them water soluble so they can be safely excreted in the urine or the feces. This includes binding to heavy metals like mercury, lead, and arsenic, and of course, helping your body eliminate them, again, through the bile, in the feces, or through urine. Glutathione also helps to detoxify airborne pollutants, endocrine disruptors, and pesticides, which are the hidden toxins that we are being exposed to every single day. Glutathione even neutralizes aflatoxins, which are toxic mold compounds that can contaminate grains, nuts, and other food crops. Glutathione helps to metabolize both over-the-counter and prescription medications. And without enough of it, your body starts to struggle to clear these compounds, which can lead to an accumulation in your tissues and ultimately damage. Glutathione also helps to neutralize carcinogens like benzoapyrene, and of course, we mentioned the heavy metals earlier. Even alcohol metabolism depends on glutathione, which helps to convert acetaldehyde, a toxic byproduct, into acetic acid, so it can be safely broken down and excreted. When glutathione is depleted, these detox pathways struggle and they become sluggish, which then allows the harmful substances longer than they should and, of course, cause more damage. Number three, inflammation control. Chronic inflammation is at the root of nearly every major disease from arthritis to Alzheimer's. And of course, glutathione plays a key role in keeping this inflammation in check. It modulates immune signaling, which means that it helps your body to launch the right immune response, the appropriate level, without overdoing it. Research shows that glutathione can suppress inflammatory messengers from immune cells, especially in tissues like the joints where inflammation tends to flare. But what's fascinating is how flexible this system is because under certain immune stimulated conditions, glutathione can increase those same inflammatory markers when it's necessary to mount a defense because not all inflammation is bad. In fact, our immune system relies on inflammatory markers to communicate amongst the cells. And glutathione is there to help adjust up and down depending on the situation and the need. So we can think of it kind of like an inflammatory thermostat so sensing what your body needs, fine tuning it, and activating, deactivating when necessary. Number four, glutathione is involved in the regulation of your immune system, which is huge. It helps to coordinate again, like we mentioned, the immune signaling, cell activity, it helps guide it and keep it within a narrow range so that there isn't unnecessary damage. And research shows that glutathione levels directly impact lymphocyte function, meaning that both too little and too much, of course, can throw the immune system out of balance. So glutathione is really like the guardrail. It also plays a role in immune cell localization, helping to tell immune cells where they need to go, for example, sites of infection, where also preventing them from damaging healthy tissue nearby. So this balance, of course, is critical and necessary to avoid any undue damage. So basically, glutathione helps your immune system turn on when it needs to, turn off when it doesn't need to be there anymore, and helps keep things stable without tipping into chronic inflammation or immune overreaction. Number five, DNA and cellular repair is one of the biggest functions of glutathione as well, because it isn't just about defending against toxic chemicals and so on and removing them, but it's also critical for repairing any damage that has already been done. 
glutathione actually helps to restore oxidatively damaged DNA and proteins by maintaining the redox balance required for cellular repair enzymes to function, such as DNA polymerase. And evidence shows that several DNA repair mechanisms are dependent on glutathione because depletion will actually impair these processes. So we know that it's needed. It also helps to protect your telomeres, which are the end caps on your chromosomes that tend to shorten with time as you age. Under oxidative stress, glutathione appears to support telomere stability in endothelial cells, which are the cells that line the inside of blood and lymphatic vessels. And in the brain, when glutathione levels drop, it has been observed that several neurodegenerative conditions like Huntington's, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and even stroke, basically diseases where oxidative damage and poor repair mechanisms are at the core and root cause. While glutathione is often seen as a protector, it's just as much of a recovery agent as well. So it helps to repair cells, regenerate them, and to keep them functioning at optimal levels. So how do you know if your glutathione is depleted? The most direct way to check is by doing a blood test, but your body will often send us signs and signals long before things become that serious that you might need to step in. Some of these symptoms reflect stress on your systems, right? That the ones that glutathione supports like detoxification, redox, immune modulation, and cellular repair. So you might notice things like persistent fatigue, even if you've had a full night's rest. Brain fog is also a common one. So basically difficulty concentrating, slower recovery from workouts, or even physical stress. Low glutathione can also manifest in chronic inflammation, joint pain, or even stiffness. Skin issues like breakouts, dullness, and even slow healing can be associated with low glutathione as well as heightened sensitivity to alcohol or chemical smells. These are not random. These are signs that your internal defense systems are struggling and not completely functioning at their peak, but they're definitely working harder than they should and there are ways to get around this. When glutathione is low, your body doesn't shut down, but it basically loses efficiency and that inefficiency will tend to show up subtly and stack up over time. So how can you increase your glutathione naturally? A lot of people want to reach for supplements, but we need to talk about how to support glutathione balance naturally through small, high leverage shifts in diet and lifestyle because it isn't always about supplementing out a poor lifestyle. So of course, eating sulfur rich foods. This is huge because sulfur is a building block of glutathione, right? Sulfur is the active component within the cysteine amino acid that actually performs the function of neutralizing the free radicals. And you can find sulfur in foods like cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, kale. You can also find it in onions and garlic. Make sure to prioritize high quality sleep because your body relies on deep sleep to repair and restore these antioxidant systems. And chronic sleep deprivation has been shown to lower glutathione levels, especially in the brain where we need it the most. One of the most areas that don't get enough support is the brain. And exercise, but don't overdo it because consistent, moderate, regular movement can upregulate your body's antioxidant defense systems, including glutathione. But overly working out excessive training can actually backfire and deplete your glutathione. Studies show that combining strength and aerobic training had the biggest impact on glutathione levels in humans, even in older adults where glutathione levels are already naturally lower. This is a big one cut back on alcohol and refined sugars because both alcohol and processed sugars hit your liver and of course your entire body hard, basically increasing the burden on your detox pathways, using up glutathione faster than your body can replenish it. And it is definitely something that is within your control and avoidable. So mild controlled oxidative stress from things like sunlight, but being sure to avoid the hours between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m and even sauna exposure can stimulate your body's internal antioxidant recycling systems, including those that regenerate glutathione. So using heat to your advantage, sauna, getting outside, these are all excellent for balancing your body and your glutathione. Let's talk about supplementation. There are two main strategies, right? So first is indirect support by supplying the precursors and the cofactors that your body needs to make glutathione. 
And the other option is by delivering actual preformed glutathione. Remember, always talk to your doctor before supplementing because it is not a one size fits all. In fact, over supplementing can actually have the opposite effect where glutathione becomes pro-oxidant instead of antioxidant. So you're literally shooting yourself in the foot. First, let's talk about indirect precursors and cofactors. So these help your body to reduce and recycle its own glutathione. But remember, not everyone needs these and some people don't have the enzyme that is necessary to make glutathione on their own at high enough levels. So supplying precursors might not even really help. The first one is NAC or N-acetylcysteine. Cysteine is the amino acid that is typically the least abundant. So that means it's the bottleneck in the glutathione synthesis pathway. Next is alpha lipoic acid. This helps to support glutathione regeneration and keeps the redox cycle running by recycling other antioxidants. It isn't about always supplementing and making more and more glutathione because our bodies can naturally recycle it. So the more that we can maximize the efficiency of the glutathione cycle, the better off we'll be that we don't even need supplementation in some cases. Next, selenium and vitamin C, which are critical cofactors in glutathione metabolism, since again, they help to recycle it efficiently. So you don't always need to supplement, right? The next method is direct supplementation or glutathione delivery, because these are delivering preformed glutathione, which bypasses the whole need to synthesize. But remember that all forms of glutathione are not equally effective because glutathione in and of itself is not well absorbed by cells. It requires specialized transport proteins to actually shuttle glutathione from the extracellular space into your cells. So if you're just taking a bunch of glutathione, not in the right form, your body might not even be absorbing it at all. Liposomal glutathione is basically an oral format basically designed to help with absorption and bioavailability because it's thought that the liposomes will just fuse with your cell membranes and then deliver the glutathione inside. Another method is IV glutathione, which is directly injected into your bloodstream. This is powerful, but invasive and expensive and typically used in special clinical settings. So always talk to your doctor, right? Should you even supplement at all? If you're 30, regularly exposed to toxins, stress, alcohol, poor sleep, inflammation, ultra processed foods, supplementation may be a serious consideration, but don't guess, always get tested. Work with your doctor because glutathione status or levels can be assessed through specific oxidative stress markers and other detox panels. So I would personally work with an integrative medical doctor who understands these detox and redox physiology pathways. So you're not just throwing a bunch of supplements at your system randomly, but you're strategically supporting your body's defense mechanisms where you actually need it. Glutathione is basically your body's first responder. It shows up when there's damage, helps when there's inflammation or stress. It even protects your brain, which we all need by the way, fuels your energy systems, detoxifies environmental chemicals, and even repairs your DNA. But this is the key. It's not just about boosting glutathione. It's about also reducing the demand by avoiding toxins and maximizing our body's glutathione recycling systems. If your body is constantly battling toxins from food, air, water, alcohol, stress, poor quality foods, you will burn through glutathione faster than you can replenish it. And that depletion doesn't just show up in lab results. You will feel it like fatigue, brain fog, inflammation, slower recovery, slower healing time, and just more vulnerability to illness. Glutathione is one of the most critical and often overlooked molecules for resilience and longevity. And glutathione will help you as long as you help it. So yes, eat the right foods, get quality sleep, make sure you exercise. But just as important is minimizing your toxic load by avoiding the avoidable toxins. If you're looking to avoid toxins, check out these videos on hidden toxins and the best swaps for your home. And if you found value, hit the like and subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos that I'm posting about evidence-backed low-tox lifestyle strategies and of course the best product swaps for your entire family. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.